we'll do for you, bro. Okay, awesome. And I hope you guys do. Thank you so much for letting me um, interview you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. Captain Garrett and the boys just got back in from their 39 hour adventure. Uh, nice, huge pile of fish, mangrove snapper, porgies, yellowtails, lanes, vermilions, and some nice amberjack, plus a big old wahoo in the 45, 50 pound range caught on a nomad trolling lure. Uh, so looks like you guys killed it, huh, Garrett? We had a good trip. It uh, the bite was on. Well, the bite was steady the whole trip. We caught fish on every single spot, and um, even with the the regulations that we're faced with, we put a really nice catch together. The mangroves cooperated through the night, um, and then once uh, sunlight daytime came, we went and got the big vermilions, porgies, um, got a handful of jacks. Probably could have gotten a few more, and it was just steady everywhere we went. We got we caught fish everywhere we went. That's awesome, man. So steady bite of fish. What was the best bait going for you guys? Uh, we had the sardines and the squid. Really, um, you know, we were trying to get these heads and tails and just your standard baits, sardines and squid. And sardines, uh, squid, had a really nice catch together. We got some big stringers. Uh, a nice variety of fish too. We got mangroves, red porgies, knob porgies, yellowtails, some grazebees, rock hinds, jacks. Uh, we managed to get a nice tuna on the troll or wahoo on the troll. We got a tuna. 
What about Alicos, uh, Rudderfish, Lanes? Just a little bit of everything. Nice mixed bag. What about the Amberjack? What did you guys catch those on? Uh, I saw some come up on jigs. Uh, a hand, handful of guys caught, had some live baits. So that was also a, a, a mixture. And then we had a lot of Almacos. Those came up on the squid and the jigs. Nice. That looks like a killer trip. What about the mangrove bite? Was it solid on the dead bait? A little was bit of both? on the dead bait. And uh, it was, you know, we'd pull up on a stop. We'd start fishing and it'd be on fire for about 10 to 15 minutes. And it shut off. And that was the case the entire trip. There wasn't one spot where it did not happen. But... As long as you had your lines in the water those first 15 minutes, you'd capitalize. I mean, it was just really fired off and then shut off as just as quick as they started. So just a slow, steady pick after yep. that first 15, yeah. 20 minute fire. That's cool, man. Well, I appreciate your time, Garrett. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Well, looks like a stellar catch of fish. A super light load of people. Looks like they did extremely well despite that light load. Huge catch. Definitely awesome. That 39-hour trip's been doing really well.